So this is a vintage Philips TV that I bought in an advertisement website. It's like a Craigslist, but Portuguese. It's olx.pt. Uh, I really don't remember the, the exact model of this TV because I, I bought a lot of crap in the last few days. Um, we're going to unbox it and see if we have any surprises or not. First thing I might notice here is it says CIMA, which means up in Portuguese. And this box was actually in the post postage van upside down. <laughs> you might as well write here piece of crap or something like that. And here it says muito frágil, which means very fragile. But they of course ignore all of that. So I got here my knife. And I'll try and do this while holding the phone. I'm not sure if I have second well it's a Philips X20 cannot see that yeah X20 so I have a couple of these already it will probably just be good for the parts it's UHF and VHF these tuners are always frozen but I have a way to unstick them maybe I will show that to you in the other video we got height and vertical linearity and nothing else on the back. It's completely, completely, I don't know what to say to describe it. It's just a terrible shape. So, there is the front. At least the CRT neck isn't busted because we would see a spot right here so didn't got damage in the transit here is the on off switch you need to pull that to turn it on oops okay nice stone control brightness contrast and the tuner course it's frozen completely solid totally solid you can get a pair of ice grips and you cannot turn this they freeze completely because of the grease I don't know what type of grease some makers used in the 60s 70s but it uh, turns into a rock you can select presets or not you can't but Number one seems to work, but you cannot turn it at all. So let's pop off the back. Let's see what other crap this thing has for us. So the back is kind of loose. Let me just unbolt it and I'll be right back. Well, there you go. My first reaction when I took the cover off was, well, what the fuck is this? But, yeah, completely rotten. Completely rotten. 
Continue the right hat right there. Antenna port, VHF, VHF. That's it. If I can remove this one hand. Ooh, cabinet is falling apart. Oops. the TV <laughs> we have here let me turn the light off this tube is all white it's probably gassy high voltage rectifier appears to be good we have the flyback no, from the, this part right here here's the horizontal output Efficiency of damper diode. This is the vertical. I don't know. Is this a capacitor or what? Yes, it's a capacitor. Super weird. Upside down washing machine type capacitor. Bent broken sockets, bent pins on the valves. Yeah, this thing is just connected to the CRT ground strap is playing in the board. Other than that, it appears to be extremely low hours. I mean, let me turn the light on again. Let's see, look at the board. Super clean board. No burnt parts around the high voltage. You, when the TV has a lot of hours, the boards gets all blacked out. So I think we may have a good CRT, and I think I can make this work just for the entertainment. It will probably provide to me and to you, maybe hopefully. So first thing I'm gonna do is try to. Bend the pins back, put the valves in place, replace this one, and since it is all completely rotten, I'm going to fire it up and see if she burns. Alright, so I, I straightened the pins on these two, and this one, I don't know if you can see Right on the top, it's missing the little nipple and it went to air. It's a PCL86, I think I have one of these. And uh, where is the fuse on this thing? Does it even have a fuse? So, power cord comes here, goes to the power switch to these two gray wires, and it comes to the board. Oh, there it is. There's the fuse, it's good, the fuse is, it's good, oh, we have here an IC, and we have a couple of transistors, one right there, another one right there, so this is a hybrid set, I don't like too much those sets, but anyway, I think it, it was worth the money just for the flyback seems to be good at least it's not charred or burnt and if the CRT is good it can be useful of course so let me grab a PCL86 and I'll be back again okay PCL86 in place uh, I don't see any obvious signs of why shouldn't I power this up I really don't care if it explodes, so I don't even have a watt meter or kilowatt, variac, limiting bulb, nothing. Just a power plug, socket, and here we go. Mm -hmm. 
No filaments. Yes. It was drawing some current because when I plugged the power cord, I noticed a spark. Kinda hear something hissing. Ooh. Let me do that again. So shit. Is it a bad solder joint or what? Bad socket. Let me let me remove the valve and take another look at it. Okay. So let me see if I can show you something. There it is. is separated from the, the actual pin it's broken right here so I'm going to touch that with a soldering iron I don't know if this is the pin for the filaments but I have a feeling it is because when I wiggle the valve it makes a spark right here right here and if the valve is not yet heated it's not conducting so it should should make a spark only on the filament pin so this is probably a pin for the filaments I have a feeling let me touch that up and see if she works well I don't know how how did I miss this but look completely cracked all the way up to the top from top to bottom this board is cracked and it goes through a whole lot of tracks so I don't know if I feel like redoing all of that just to test the TV, but let me get a beer and think about this for a while. I may just, uh, I don't know, I'll be right back. Well, I don't know if you can see, but I actually had the patience to go scrap off the copper traces and I just tacked some solder blobs all the way to the top and everything is making contact now at least I think not a proper repair but it's just for testing so let's fire it up I see some filaments lighting up, that's good, let me turn the light off, yes, oh, look at that, it's glowing, it's glowing purple, what the f crap is that, well, I can hear the horizontal oscillator starting, this is not normal. No red plating on the horizontal output, no red plating on the damper, so the boost capacitor normally shorts on these TVs, but it's probably fine. I, th I think I'm going to replace that. That guy is probably faulty. Alright, here we go. This was a DY802 and I put in a DY802 
86 that's what I had should work Ooh. we got high voltage and some arcing have my hand on the plug just in case Ooh. vertical CRT is very bright let me and the brightness down, brightness down, contrast down. Brightness control is shut. We have good high voltage and good horizontal deflection. Let me turn it off. So now we have a problem because I don't have a schematic for this. I'm going to have to figure it out the hard way. Okay, this is the vertical output transformer. I won't touch anything with my hands. Vertical output. So, is this is this the vertical oscillator? Vertical output tube. Did I put a? Is this tube even good? More cracked solder joints. Okay, I'm going to, I think what I'm going to do is check the solder joints again on around the crack, replace this tube, we got a sliding potentiometer here, I don't know the purpose of that, may try to mess around with this pot a little. But I don't want to have the TV on for any longer than necessary. Okay, let's see. Okay, so with the new valve, I only had a horizontal line across the screen. And now I tapped on the board a little bit here and there. And I, I got a, this much deflection. So I don't know, bad contact. Could be some shorted turns on the yoke, shorted turns on the vertical output transformer, mm. starting to crunch back. Uh, brightness control does nothing, contrast control does nothing. Let me, I don't know if I'm going much further with this. I can see the CRT is good, so flyback's good. Mm. Let's see.